So let's look at exercise seven, number seven, and you will take it. You will see clearly throughout this um, exercise or this question specifically, they ask you in a leading way. So they ask the questions in a way that you would actually need to do the calculations to get to the equation of a tangent. So the very first question is, what's the coordinates of D, the center of the circle? And then the equation is given in standard form. So, I mean, in general form. So we have to convert it into standard form. And we'll do that by using, uh, by completing the square. Okay, so first of all, write it out expand it a little bit to create space for yourself okay by completing the square we know with x this uh, b is negative 6 b over 2 is negative 3 negative 3 square is plus 9 and there's the equal to sign so therefore we have to add 9 on the other side and b over here is negative 4 so b over 2 is negative 2, negative 2 squared is plus 4. So we have to add on both sides. And as usual, I put my brackets there. Then it's easier not to make a mistake. We factorize. And on the right hand side, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18. So over here, we have... The coordinates of D, the center of the circle. So question B now is to calculate the gradient of DP, which is the radius. So let's calculate the gradient. So to get the gradient, we will say YP minus YD divided by xp minus xd you substitute that in then you get 5 minus 2 over 6 minus 3 so equal to 3 over 3 which is equal to 1 and now question c the final question to determine the equation g gp g is over there so that's the equation of the tangent so first things first Let's get the gradient of the tangent. So the gradient of the tangent times the gradient of dp equals negative 1. Our reason, the radius perpendicular to tangent. From here on, we can calculate that the gradient will be negative 1. And now we're going to do substitution of point P and the gradient into the following format y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 so y minus 5 equals negative 1 times x minus 6 we multiply into the bracket and then simplify and that's your final answer